Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about some different types of HDT examples, okay, or HDT problems. Just say, this is one different types of syntax related translation problems. One means uh, here HDT is given, here HDT is given, just say, consider the following HDT, consider the following HDT. HDT is given H2 X X W print one, like this, uh, the productions are like this. So try to understand what is the meaning of the question. If the HTT, if the HTT is carried out along shift reduce parser, it may be shift reduce parser, it may be top down parser, it may be bottom up parser, whatever it may be. Okay. So what is the, what is the output? What is the output produced for the input string? What? For x, y, z, z. Okay. So HDT is given, input string is given. Now we'll find the output. Now we'll find the output. Okay. So first we'll construct, first we'll construct the past or annotated past, then we'll find the output. Okay. This is the method. Just see. Okay, this is the in, this is our input string. This is our input string. Now we'll construct the past or annotated past for this input string. Just see, but S two x x w x x w then print one. I'm just writing in shortcut p one. P one means print one. I'm just writing in uh, using the shortcut uh, shortcut means for print for p okay then we'll explore w then we'll explore so double x done then we'll explore w w is s z then print three okay this z is also done now we'll explore again this s this is what See, x, x, w, x, x, w, then print one. So these two x done. Okay. Now we'll explore this w. W means s, z, s, z, then print three. Okay. One more z, then. Then we will explore this S as to what? Y. Then as to what Y print to Y print to. Okay. So this is the given past. This is the this is the construction means this is the past for the given input string. Okay. So now we'll check. For this input string, what is the output? What is the output or the, this uh, given SR parser or shift reduce parser or HTT will print, print the, just check, we'll check the output, okay? So see, input is x, x, 4 x. First, we'll, see. we'll start from, just see, we'll start from S means start symbol x then x that means x what is the input uh, this is input x x then we will go to w then we will to go to s then we will come to s x and x x x then we will go to w then we will come to s then we will come to y then we'll go to this S, then we'll come to, but then it will print what? The output is, it will print two, it will print two. Then we'll go to S, Z, then print three, then it will print three. 
then it will come to go to W. Then it will come to what? Then it will print what? Print one. Then it will go to S. Then Z. Then print three. Then it will go to W. Then print one. Then it will go to S. We'll start from S and we'll end with S. So the given input string is what? Four X Y Z. What is the output? The output is two three one three one. So the given output is two three one three. So this is one type of what syntax related translation example. Okay. So now we'll see one more example. Okay. Consider the following STD. Consider the following STD. This is the given STD. So what is the output produced for the input string? Here input string is triple a d b c triple a d b c for the given input string for the given input string now we'll construct the now we'll construct the syntax related so now we'll construct the past or we can say annotated past okay let's see we'll start from s s a s then print one then print one okay then a to a and print three a to a print three then we'll start this s s at a s uh just use some This is print three. This S as what A S then print one. Okay. This A A as A and print three. A print three. This S S as A B A B we can write. A, B, A, B, then print two, print two. This A has, this A has what? A and print three. Then B, B has D, B, D, D, B, print five. S as A B print two. This one is print two, right? Okay. Triple A D then triple A D then B C. So B two. B C. B two B C print four. Then C two. C. Print six. Okay, so now we'll check the input string here. Then this is a given input string. Now we'll check the output. Okay, so similarly we'll start from the starting symbol. Go to a, then a, then print three. So we'll print three. Then we'll go to here, go to here, go to here, go to here. Then we'll go to here. Means a print three. Then we'll go to here, go to s, go to s. Then go to a, then go to a. Then print three.
then go to here, then go to D. Okay. Then go to here and go to B, B, C, C, D, sorry, D, but B, then C. Okay. Print six. Four, five, then two, then go to S, print one, and go to S, print one, then ten. So here we'll start from S and end with N. So what is the output? For the given input, what? Triple A DBC, the output is like this what? 3336452111. Okay. This is also one type of syntax related translation. Okay. So, in syntax related translation, we have already discussed about different types of STT problems. Okay. Uh, in the next class, we will start about what? S attribute definition and L attribute definition. Okay. Thanks for watching.